16,000 miles from the UK, Tuvalu is the most distant of the Queen's realms. Even a sudden tropical downpour can't delay the enthusiastic preparations for the most important visit of the century. Today is the day the people of this tiny Pacific island have been looking forward to for months. The last royal visit was in 1982. We were like young girls when she came, when 82. <laughs> Everybody's excited about this visit. It's a lifetime opportunity to host a royal family. Paparazzi photographs and legal action seem a world away. Looking relaxed and happy, William and Kate are eager to embrace what Tuvalu has to offer. And it's like nothing they've seen before. show a sign of respect to the royal family. They only have a short time on this tiny island. There's a lot to cram in to give them a taste of local life. A royal visit is a massive boost for a country like Tuvalu, helping to raise its profile across the world. The importance of the visit is strengthening our ties, historical ties that we already enjoyed over the past years. It brings our people together. However remote these islands are, they're not immune from global environmental threats. Rising sea levels pose a real danger to their survival. Experts warn they could simply disappear beneath the waves. A lot of uh, Tuvaluans are scared, and some of them have uh, moved on, and knowing that there is no future for their children or their grandchildren here. Iafata Pianiu is a captain in the Tuvalu Navy. He's known the sea all his life. We can see a lot of changes in the weather. Normally, we don't have strong wind. We are experiencing that now. Preserving the islands for the next generation is a priority. But today, all that next generation wants is to meet a real-life prince and princess. We will both remember it and the joy and happiness of what has followed for the rest of our lives. It remains to me... It's the final speech of this long tour, and William chooses to speak a few words of the local language. There's time for a quick game of volleyball. But if you're going to do things the Tuvaluan way, it can only mean one thing.
The couple learn their lawyers have been successful in preventing further publication of the photographs in France. A small victory, but it may not be enough to prevent the ongoing erosion of their privacy. This has undoubtedly been a challenging tour for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. 25,000 miles in nine days to the furthest reaches of the Commonwealth. And yet, even in this paradise, half a world away from home, it's been impossible for them to forget the sometimes ugly realities of modern media. But despite what the palace describe as their fury and sadness at the invasion of their privacy, in public at least, the royal smiles have remained intact. They fulfilled everything that people dreamed about when they went there. They joined in, they smiled a lot, they laughed a lot, and they handled themselves with true composure. The Duchess of Cambridge's role is growing within the tours, and I think we will see it grow continually in the future. If the purpose of this tour was to introduce the next generation of the royal family to more parts of the Queen's Commonwealth, it has also served to remind the young couple that their celebrity is not without its pitfalls.